trust me. I know what I'm doing. What's the problem, officer? Your tail light is out. What are you gonna do? Give me a warning? Yeah, a warning shot. Thank you for your cooperation. And this story just in. Recently released criminal George M. Nazar was found shot to death this morning in his parked car. This makes three murders of freed felons in the past month. And now, here's Carolyn with the What weather. a nice way to start the Thanks, day. Richard. The weather for today will be... I've had it. I've been waiting 15 minutes to see Captain Trunk. Don't you realize who I am? Hey, lady, be reasonable. How we're busy here. All right, I'm filing complaints against each and every one of you, starting with you. What is your name? Winston Churchill. Hey, and I'm Art Linkletter. Very uh, funny. I demand some service. Oh, calm down, woman. These are cops, not major D's. You there, what is your name? And I want a straight answer. Sledgehammer. Okay, that's it. You bought it, mister. Hey, Inspector, Captain's waiting to see in his office. You're going in there? I'm following you. Fine, I can't stop you. I'm sorry for the bad experience you just had, Miss Collins. That's Ms. Collins. Is this any way to welcome your new district attorney? I'm sure the disrespect was unintentional, Ms. Collins. Not intentional. There's an overgrown adolescent out there in a whoopee suit playing schoolboy pranks when someone asked for directions. This cretin walked me into the men's room. Hey, Captain, Hitler's widow is out there looking for you. Oh, I see you found him. Inspector Sledge Hammer. This is District Attorney Evelyn Collins. Oh, that's all we need, a woman DA? Whew. What'd you do with your perfume? Spray it on with a crop duster? Whew. Hammer, please. Oh, you must admit. Perhaps we should get down to business, Miss Collins. That's Ms. The district attorney is here because in the last month, three known criminals released by the courts have been gunned down, apparently by vigilantes. So? We have a serious problem here. Why, did some of them live? You're not helping, Hammer. Each of the vigilantes' victims was killed within one day of exoneration. Drug pusher Rudy Mednick, released this morning, seems to be the next logical victim in their pattern. How did he beat the rap again? That's easy, Duro. We got the lawyer with the best commercial in town. We'd better find Metnik before the vigilantes do. Yeah, so we can put a target on his back. We wouldn't want the vigilantes to miss. Mr. Hammer, I want Metnik found. I want him protected. Then I'm going to bring those vigilantes to trial. I want you and Doro to cooperate with Miss Collins. We will, sir. Well, nice meeting you, Miss Collins. That's Ms. Good day, Mr. Hammer. That's Murr. I don't know. We don't have much on this Rudy Madnick. Wait a minute. Seems to frequent massage parlors. Oh, great. It'll take us years to find him. There's over a thousand of those massage parlor joints in the city. No, I think he goes there just for a massage. Oh, oh. Well, there's only about three of those. Yoo-hoo! May I help you? Yes, Rudy Mednick here. We're police officers. May I see some identification? Oh, sorry. That doesn't look like you. Oh, you're cute. Rudy's in the bath. Steam room number two. Hammer, wait. We can't go in there with our clothes on. But no, I mean, if we go in the steam... We just gonna... stop nagging, will you, Duro? It's just steam. Now, come on. I got a piping hot slime ball to protect you. Pledgehammer, how are you? Hey, leave me alone. What have I done wrong? You were born, scum sucker. Sledge, I really think we should do this outside. The steam Look, is going to... Look, don't be... push me, Duro. 
Now, I've already been bossed around by one woman today. Now, come on, slimeball. I got orders to take you downtown and protect you. See, there's a bunch of vigilantes out there shooting people nobody likes. And you're next on the list. Why am I next? I guess they couldn't find Pee Wee Herman. Now, get your clothes on. Inspector Sledgehammer, there's a call for you and your partner. It's urgent. Must be the department. Girl, that hemline violates regulations. It was a steam bath hammer. Look at your suit. Hello? Nice pants. Hello? Hey, I don't want to have anything to do with you cops. Get your thrown out of here. Got a lifetime membership. It just expired. Thank, Thank you for the cooperation. Whoever it was just hung up. I was just hanging up. A few minutes ago. You better wait here, Dro. If any more steam gets on that outfit, you won't have a place to pin your badge. Well, y you would have a place, but it would be painful. <laughs> Mendic, you're hurt. All right, who did this to you? What, you can't talk? Can you type? <laughs> Can you type a little with one finger? <laughs> what are you doing? You trying to say something? All right, what are you trying to say? You shot. You shot? That's bad grammar. Now tell me by whom. Peace. Peace now. Hippies did this? What are you trying to say? I'm no good at charades. It's always been frustrating for me. All right, start over. Victory. Victory. V is for victory. I got it. You got shot by a guy holding a cigar. Uh, what? You're having trouble breathing? I got one. I got one. OK, keep going now. What? You didn't get shot. They used karate. Uh, no. You're saluting, so you got shot by naval recruiters. What? Something smells bad? Oh, you're dying. You're, you're dying. You're dying on the vine. You're dead. You're dead. That thing. So they hung up. I went back down. The guy is going two, 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 something. I don't know what he was talking about, and he was dead. The vigilantes knew our every move. Who else could have paged us? Doro. I want you to phone the district attorney and tell her what's happened. Amber, I want to talk to you in private. Amber, I have discovered something quite shocking. These shell casings were found at the scene of every single shooting. Recognize them? That's a 38 special. It's a police issue. I'd say 1984 vintage. An amusing year. You can tell all that just by biting a bullet? Absolutely. Here, we'll try it yourself. No, no go ahead. Try it. Try it. No, no. All right. Now, you see, you just discovered that there was still some powder left in that bullet. Hammer, you have properly identified these as police issue. That tells you the vigilantes are what? Cops! There are two cops, two cops. That's what Mendig was trying to tell me. Now listen, I, I, I'm terrible at charades, all right? But in my defense, he was a terrible mime. I mean, he was with two, two, V, V. I, Hammer, I had... these dirty cops are acting as judge, jury, and executioner. But they're putting in for a lot of overtime. Hammer, I want you to infiltrate this group. We'll use Doro as a selling point. Now, if she believes you've gone bad, gotten worse, I believe those vigilantes will enlist you in no time. Why don't we start a fight? I mean, stage it, you know? I mean, really, we'll come to blows. Here. Right in front of everybody. That's not a bad idea. Why don't I like it? Ah. Is anybody going to get hurt? No, no. Are you Look, sure? No, it's play acting. It's play acting. No, trust me. I know what I'm doing. Come on, you ready? Wait a minute. Let me just think about this. Oh, hammer! Oh, What's going on? I gave you an order. I'm not going after any vigilantes. I think they're doing a good job. What's going on between you two? Ah. Come on. You think they're buying it? You're not giving me anything to work off of. Don't you know anything about good acting? I am old enough to know this isn't it. Wait. Look, we gotta give him a big finish. I gotta hit you like I hit you, but it looks like I was trying to kill you. Okay, but. 
pull your punch, I'll do the rest. Trust me. I don't say that again. Get up. Get up. Pull a punch. I did pull it. Thought I hit you full force, you would have landed in that parking lot. You're lucky I didn't add lib. I guess it was all for nothing, huh? Oh, no way, Jose. That's why I wanted to talk to you. When I got home last night, I found this slip under the door. I think the vigilantes are trying to contact me. So have they made you a member yet? I'm waiting. I, I think they're still checking on me. Yeah, they might be watching you right now. That's right. That's right. They might be watching me right now. What the hell are you doing? I'm keeping up the act. Well, stop it! Now, Hammer, after you infiltrate that group, I want you to get the names of every man that comprises the vigilante group. You understand me? No! I'm just kidding you. Yes, of course I do. Hey, what's going on here? Hey, who let you jokers in? Your landlady. Why, because you're cops? No, because we told her we were going to beat you up. And she wonders why she can never get a date. Well, I'll tell you something. If I open my refrigerator and I find one bite of casserole gone, you're both dead. All right. The reason we're here, Inspector Hammer, is to invite you to join a clandestine group whose members share the singular purpose of righting wrongs through force and aggression. Oh, I'm already a registered Republican. No, the Vigilante Squad. Right. We're prepared to invite you to a meeting of our group tonight. Well, I don't know. It's Tuesday. I usually spend Tuesday night playing bridge with the girls. Of course, if it's catered, that would make a big difference. But, but... Oh, a blindfold, huh? You know, I haven't worn one of these since I dated a girl that was in a Weight Watchers. Fellow vigilantes, I bring before you a potential member, Sledge Hammer. Hi, guys. Where's the pinata? You wear that blindfold until we're sure you're one of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll bet you guys are all naked, right? Stop playing the fool. I'm no fool. My loss of sight has heightened my other senses. For example, I can tell that you are a Caucasian woman weighing approximately 112 pounds in her late 30s, am I right? Get this guy away from me. Sit him down. Listen. We'll ask the questions, Hammer. What do you think about reading a suspect his rights? I prefer to read him his last rights, if you know what I mean. What do you think about the death penalty? It's too lenient. There's always the possibility of reincarnation. Hey, this is fun. Can we go on to the lightning round? The question period is over, Inspector Hammer. Oh, good. Then I choose bachelor number two because he sounded like it was more fun. Shut up. It's time for your initiation. You've been given the privilege of killing District Attorney Evelyn Collins. She's been speaking out against our cause and needs to be silenced. Can't you just shush her? It's all planned. She's working late tonight. You're to terminate her with extreme prejudice. Do you have any reservations about shooting a woman? You have to make reservations? Why don't I just take... Escort him out of here, will you? Thank you, thank you. I will escort myself out. I've memorized the location of every object in this room. I can retrace my steps perfectly. meaning of this miss collins that's ms just listen to me i've discovered the identity of the vigilantes they're cops this can't be please that's right i also found out who the next victim is it's you 
Me? Oh my God. Well, there's more. You see, they want me to join them, and part of my initiation is to assassinate you. Good Lord. Wait, that's not the worst of it. The worst of it is that I'm going to do it. Congratulations, you've passed the test. Your willingness to pull the trigger makes you one of us. As a precaution, I was wearing a bulletproof vest underneath my clothes. It's figure flattering. Touché. I loaded my gun with blanks. Mm -hmm. You see, I knew that you were the leader of this group, Ms. Collins. How could you know? A blindfold makes a man's senses all the more acute. It made the smell of your perfume in your living room almost unbearable. You fascinate me, Inspector Hammer. What do you say we go back to my place and get to know each other better? Hey, don't touch me there without a written permission. Now you behave yourself and maybe I'll show you my appendix scar. Nice set of weapons. What, are you stocking up for a war? You seem surprised. A woman can be as nihilistic as a man. I'm not interested in the ERA, I'm into the NRA. What if you get a bullwhip? My father was a wagon master. So you wouldn't happen to have a list of the other guys in the organization around here, would you? Forget about the other sledge, let's talk about you. What about that? My father killed that deer when I was just a little girl. Oh, so he was a hunter. No, a bad driver. Of all the officers I've recruited, there's something strangely appealing about you. I guess it's your callous disregard for human rights, your savage instinct, your chauvinism, your inability to treat women as equals. Yeah, I'm quite a catch. <laughs> Would you excuse me for just one moment? I'd like to get out of my work clothes. Make yourself at home. Yeah, maybe I can get some bras to come over, huh? <sighs> Looks like you and me are the only sane ones here. All right, come on, let's get that list for Captain Trunk. Well, I'm feeling more at home already. I have a surprise for you. Let me guess. You got a funhouse mirror above your bed? Well, what do you think? I knew Justice was blind, but I didn't know it was tacky. You like? How does my body compare with the others you've it's hard to say. I'd have to see it with a tag on your toe. Won't you join me? You know, I saw the last DA wearing an outfit just like that. What a freak he was, let me tell you. Oh, by the way, that list you asked about is right over there on the table. All right, little lady, the jig's up. Now you're really in hot water. You and your fanatic friends have got a date downtown, Miss Collins. That's Ms. I never trusted you for an instant, Inspector Hammer. Hey, lady, you could put somebody's eye out with that thing. There are only blanks in your gun. Why are you shooting at me? Of course I haven't. You men are all alike. Every one of you wants the same thing from me. Yeah, get the hell out of here. You know, I'm having a difficult time relaxing around you, lady. Besides that, you're a lousy shot. Another miss. That's Miz. You used me. You led me on. I could have loved you. Boy, you women, you give you a little power and you freak out. I remember when my wife got her first credit card. 
It's useless. That gun is just for decoration. You're such a tease. We could have made quite a team, Sledge. Since I can't have you, I'm going to have to kill you. What if I promise not to date? Freeze! Or you lose 20 pounds the hard way. So how did you get here? I followed you. You didn't think you and Trunk would actually convince me with that bad acting, did you? I told him I had nothing to work off of. Will, did you really think that a woman could get the best of me? I'm nobody's fool. I belong to everyone. Drop it, Hammer. How do you guys keep showing up like this? What are you, beam down or something? It's all over, Hammer. History justifies the vigilante. I'm going to prosecute you. You convinced everyone you're a rogue. It'll be my word against yours, and everyone will believe me. Freeze! Nobody move! I'm prepared to shoot everyone in this room except Doro. You see, Collins? Your wild, feminine emotionalism is no match for the cool mental resources of the average male. Do you see that now? Captain Trunk, would you please tell Ms. Swimsuit here just exactly how you managed to untangle that web of assorted clues that led you to this house? I live next door. I heard all the shooting and I ran over here to see what the hell was going on. Well, well, well. Ms. Collins, is there anything you'd like to get before we book you? There is one last thing. Okay. Come on, lady. That's Let's it. go. Move it out. Get in the car. Move it. Come on. Get going. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just sad. It's really sad. Yeah. She ruined a promising career. No, she was the best first date I ever had. The newspaper says the verdict from Ms. Collins' trial came in yesterday. I hope she gets 20 years. No, she got no years, Sledge. She defended herself and got off on a legal technicality. Oh. Yeah, I hear she ranted and raved about you all during the hearing. <laughs> well, it's understandable. It's tough getting over a guy like me. Sledge! If I can't have you, no one will. No one. <laughs> I'll get you for what you did to me! I'll get you, Hammer! Oh. See what I mean? You better wait here, Dro. If any more steam gets on that outfit, you won't have a place to pin your badge. Well, y you would have a place, but it would be painful. <laughs> Mendic, you're hurt. All right, who did this to you? What, you can't talk? Can you type? Can you type a little with one finger? What are you doing? You trying to say something? All right, what are you trying to say? You shot. You shot? That's bad grammar. Now tell me by whom? Peace. Peace now. Hippies did this? What are you trying to say? I'm no good at charades. It's always been frustrating for me. All right, start over. Victory. Victory. V is for victory. I got it. You got shot by a guy holding a cigar. Uh, what? You're having trouble breathing? I got one. I got one. OK, keep going now. What? You didn't get shot. They used karate. Uh, no. You're saluting, so you got shot by naval recruiters. What? Something smells bad? Oh, you're dying. You're, you're dying. You're dying on the vine. You're dead. You're dead. That thing. So they hung up. I went back down. The guy is going two, 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 something. I don't know what he was talking about, and he was dead. The vigilantes knew our every move. Who else could have paged us? Doro. I want you to phone the district attorney and tell her what's happened. Looks like we just found a new recruit. Hammer, I thought you...
you told me you knew how to pull a punch. I did pull it. Thought I hit you full force, you would have landed in that parking lot. You're lucky I didn't add lib. I guess it was all for nothing, huh? Oh, no way, Jose. That's why I wanted to talk to you. When I got home last night, I found this slip under the door. I think the vigilantes are trying to contact me. So have they made you a member yet? I'm waiting. I, I think they're still checking on me. Yeah, they might be watching you right now. That's right. That's right. They might be watching me right now. What the hell are you doing? I'm keeping up the act. Well, stop it. Now, Hammer, after you infiltrate that group, I want you to get the names of every man that comprises the vigilante group. You understand me? No. Just kidding. Yes, of course I do. Hey, what's going on here? Hey, who let you jokers in? Your landlady. Why, because you're cops? No, because we told her we were going to beat you up. And she wonders why she can never get a date. Well, I'll tell you something. Well, you fascinate me, Inspector Hammer. What do you say we go back to my place and get to know each other better? Hey, don't touch me there without a written permission. Now you behave yourself and maybe I'll show you my appendix scar. Nice set of weapons. What, are you stocking up for a war? You seem surprised. A woman can be as nihilistic as a man. I'm not interested in the ERA, I'm into the NRA. Where'd you get a bullwhip? My father was a wagon master. So you wouldn't happen to have a list of the other guys in the organization around here, would you? Forget about the other sledge, let's talk about you. What about that? My father killed that deer when I was just a little girl. Oh, so he was a hunter. No, a bad driver. Of all the officers I've recruited, there's something strangely appealing about you. I guess it's your callous disregard for human rights, your savage instinct, your chauvinism, your inability to treat women as equals. Yeah, I'm quite a catch. <laughs> Would you excuse me for just one moment? I'd like to get out of my work clothes. Make yourself at home. See, I usually spend Tuesday night playing bridge with the girls. Of course, if it's catered, that would make a big difference. But, but, oh, a blindfold, huh? You know, I haven't worn one of these since I dated a girl that was in a Weight Watchers. Fellow vigilantes, I bring before you a potential member, Sledge Hammer. Hi, guys. Where's the pinata? You'll wear that blindfold until we're sure you're one of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll bet you guys are all naked, right? Stop playing the fool. I'm no fool. My loss of sight has heightened my other senses. For example, I can tell that you are a Caucasian woman weighing approximately 112 pounds in her late 30s, am I right? Get this guy away from me. Sit him down. Listen. We'll ask the questions, Hammer. What do you think about reading a suspect his rights? I prefer to read him his last rights, if you know what I mean. What do you think about the death penalty? It's too lenient. There's always the possibility of reincarnation. Hey, this is fun. Can we go on to the lightning round? The question period is over, Inspector Hammer. Oh, good. Then I choose bachelor number two because he sounded like it was more fun. Shut up. It's time for your initiation. You've been given the privilege of killing district attorney Evelyn Collins. She's been speaking out against our cause and needs to be silenced. Can't you just shush her? It's all planned. She's working late tonight. You're to terminate her with extreme prejudice. Do you have any reservations about shooting a woman? You have to... Well, I'm feeling more at home already. Sledge, could you come up here? I have a surprise for you. Let me guess. You got a funhouse mirror above your bed? Well, what do you think? I knew Justice was blind, but I didn't know it was tacky. 
You like? How does my body compare with the others you've encountered? It's hard to say. I'd have to see it with a tag on your toe. Won't you join me? You know, I saw the last DA wearing an outfit just like that. What a freak he was, let me tell you. Oh, by the way, that list you ask about is right over there on the table. All right, little lady, the jig's up. Now you're really in hot water. You and your fanatic friends have got a date downtown, Miss Collins. That's Ms. I never trusted you for an instant, Inspector Hammer. Hey, lady, you could put somebody's eye out with that thing. A bad driver. Of all the officers I've recruited, there's something strangely appealing about you. I guess it's your callous disregard for human rights, your savage instinct, your chauvinism, your inability to treat women as equals. Yeah, I'm quite a catch. <laughs> Would you excuse me for just one moment? I'd like to get out of my work clothes. Make yourself at home. Yeah, maybe I can get some bras to come over, huh? Looks like you and me are the only sane ones here. All right, come on, let's get that list for Captain Trunk. Well, I'm feeling more at home already. Sledge, could you come up here? I have a surprise for you. Let me guess. You got a funhouse mirror above your bed? Well, what do you think? I knew Justice was blind, but I didn't know it was tacky. You like? How does my body compare with the others you've encountered? It's hard to say. I'd have to see it with a tag on your... Maybe I'll show you my appendix scar. Nice set of weapons. What, are you stocking up for a war? You seem surprised. A woman can be as nihilistic as a man. I'm not interested in the ERA. I'm into the NRA. If you get a bullwhip. My father was a wagon master. So you wouldn't happen to have a list of the other guys in the organization around here, would you? Forget about the other sledge. Let's talk about you. What about that? My father killed that deer when I was just a little girl. Oh, so he was a hunter. No, a bad driver. Of all the officers I've recruited, there's something strangely appealing about you. I guess it's your callous disregard for human rights, your savage instinct, your chauvinism, your inability to treat women as equals. Yeah, I'm quite a catch. <laughs> Would you excuse me for just one moment? I'd like to get out of my work clothes. Make yourself at home. Yeah, maybe I can get some bras to come over, huh? <sighs> Looks like you and me are the only sane ones here. All right, come on, let's get that list for Captain Trunk.